Arcade did the University Hospital, uh, just below the Clinical Science Building, where the peregrine falcons are nesting. Um, who's, who's, the, um, who's the peregrine up there right now? Just, can you tell this is R7, or uh, I think they call her Radisson. It's from the Radisson Hotel in Winnipeg. She's been here several seasons. Uh, one of well, probably four or five birds that have nested here since 1991. And uh, there's been some turnover. It's a very desirable place to nest, and we've had uh, birds uh, fight the death over this particular territory, so it's uh, it's one of uh, two really desirable territories. That, uh, well, she's birds. sure jumped the gun. She's come ahead of uh, a lot of the migration. I mean, right now, uh, there's only two peregrines back in the city that we know of, uh, so she is a very early arrival, and it's pretty wintry still in most of the province, so she's just waiting for someone to arrive, and hopefully it'll be a male. <laughs> uh, if it's a female, then it's, uh, the bird's intent on coming in, there'll be some fireworks here, but uh, she's just waiting for her mates, which is are they going to be courting? Oh, everything will be going on, yeah. A lot of courtship flying, lots of uh, displaying. Uh, people who are listening on the cameras will hear that e-chup, e-chup, e-chup sort of sound. That's uh, intraspecific, that's what to one another, and it's usually uh, associated with courtship. You'll hear a lot of the wailing, the long sort of stuff, you'll hear that. And if there's something annoying them, you'll hear that cack, 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 cack stuff. But usually you'll hear a lot of wailing and, uh, and e-chupping. As the uh, as the pair gets used to one another, female will be begging uh, for food or attention, that sort of thing, and uh, you'll hear a lot of that each chopping. You might see them on the nest ledges on the cameras, uh, doing mutual displays. Uh, they'll, they'll be concentrating their their attention on the nest ledge itself, right where the scrape is going to be. So early, uh, really nice that we've got cameras on them this early uh, because you're going to see a lot of that early mating behavior, courtship behavior, which is really fascinating. To watch. So when they, they're coming in from South America, Brazil, mm -hmm. um, places like that, yeah. do they immediately kind of get down to the fighting and mating business or do they have a little break? Or? No, they, they've come a long time and you know, peregrine means wanderer and they certainly do wander. As, and at this time of year, uh, if, especially with these new arrivals or early arrivals, they tend not to be so uh, tight to the nest site as you might expect them to be and they do wander around a bit. And So you'll see them for hours at a time, may just disappear and go for a fly. And we know now by radio telemetry that little flight could be as far as Lloyd Minster. <laughs> so uh, uh, they do get out and, and wander around quite a bit and then they've eventually become much more uh, focused on the on this ledge, you know, especially when the eggs go down, you'll see a very tight pair to the territory. Okay, and how long does it take her to lay her Yeah, well, she'll begin, uh, and this, these guys will probably begin in the last week of April uh, with the first egg and about 48 hours after each egg you'll see another egg. So it could be 8 to 10 days to complete a clutch. And you'll see them, you know, sometimes we've got birds here now that will lay five eggs uh, and it, you'll see you know, these super clutches, you'll, you may see that downtown actually. E4 has been one that has uh, produced five young, the only bird in the history of Alberta to do so. So uh, there's some real, real super producers here. Just a Darwinian peg peregrine. <laughs> yeah, that Darwin would have loved these two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you uh, tell us a little bit about E4? E4 was born on a natural cliff in, uh, you know, on the Red Deer River. And you know we expect you know being in these beautiful pristine conditions in the wilderness that that's where they come back to breed. But no peregrines do it their own way. She came back and claimed the bell tower several years ago, and has been breeding there ever since. So she's uh, she's the top dog in Edmonton. That's the territory that everybody wants, and she has to actively defend that, as does her male every year. So uh, there's where you're going to see some fireworks. So if you're downtown for the next two weeks, the end of April or so, uh, you're going to see some. Some flying there and some uh, and some lots of uh, interaction if other birds are trying to get into that site.